All right, here we are in Andes, Texas, part of a uh, very large collection here. We're handling a very special car. Uh, well, this particular car is just amazing. 1961 Mercedes 190 SL. Resting on a very fresh and just recently completed restoration. One craftsman handled this whole car pretty much start to finish. Probably over 5,000 hours, no, thousands of hours is what we'll say in restoration time. The fit and finish is just amazing. Um, I'm going to walk around. I'm not going to say a lot as we go around. We'll have a lot of details at spudsgarage.com. We're going to pull it outside, but most of the video is going to be done here. We don't want to put it on a lift because I don't want to move it as, you know, I want to move it as little as possible. Uh, very special car. Tolerances are just spot on with this car. Anyway, we'll just look, walk around and let you see it. The finish is just exquisite. Cars like this speak for themselves, so we're not going to talk through most of the segments. I'm talking a little bit now, but... Did a complete video of the interior. Trunk, undercarriage, engine compartment. And we'll cover the engine, the under compart the uh, undercarriage separately, and the lower body lines. rarely find me speechless We get over the driver's side, we'll spend a lot of time underneath the dash and on the dash.
Remember, this is indoors underneath the lights. Super windy outside, so we're just trying to cover this really good indoors here. All right, pardon the little break there. Had my uh, light go dead on the... Uh, caused my battery to go dead, so we had to change batteries there. And like I said, they're working in the shop here. All right, this is where we'll take a little break and ask you to get inside and walk through the interior with us. Appreciate you coming to spudsgarage.com. Hang on to the end of the video. We have a lot more for you. All right, we're going to cover the interior of the car now. Slowly and in detail without a lot of talking. We believe perfect cars don't exist, but uh, I don't know. Very, if you could smell the leather. Again, we'll stop over here on the VIN tag for you. Square weave carpet. Third passenger, little one. Trying to get back in the well there for you. All the lights work. Choke light works. We've started it, moved it. We're going to be pulling it outside for the photo shoot.
95668 at the time of uh, inspection here. Might be a little bit of a long video. Just trying to get the texture of the leather there on the dash for you. Short little break there because uh, I hit the record button. Hang on to the end of the video here. We're definitely going to cover a lot more areas. Enjoy. All right, we're going to go through the trunk here. We wanted to share the trunk with you. Again, like I said throughout the car, the level of detail is just unbelievable. We're going to stay pretty quiet and just kind of show you things that we see and speak up every now and then. tedious this book is included with it the entire restoration front to back from the beginning body off rotisserie style restoration labor love is what this car is anyway we'll have a lot of these photos at spudsgarage.com there's a lot of documents in the car here, wiring diagrams, so on and so forth. Original 190 SL uh, book, tools. Factory jack lug wrench there. I'm not going to pull up the mat, but he's even got a blanket here covering it. Car cover. A lot of pride in this restoration. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea back here. We'll show you the rest of the detail on the deck lid. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. All right, we're underneath the hood. We wanted to share underneath the hood with you. Through most of this video, we remain pretty quiet. We really want to just show you the quality and the level of this car. And you'll hear me say that in the opener of every segment. Um, speak up every now and then, but I just want to share this car with you. And we'll move nice and slow as best as I can. in a shop here and you might hear a die grinder go off every now and then. All the factory spot welds are correct on the car. A 
amazing. Working on an interviewer with the restorer so he can kind of tell us about the restoration. Not sure we're going to get that done this trip, but we're trying. Look at the tolerances here. There's other gentlemen working in the shop here. You may hear them talking from time to time. Or Amazing craftsmanship. Alright, like we always say, we're at the end of a segment here. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com where we have a lot of documentation on this car. Alright, we're going to cover the undercarriage here in the shop just like we did the engine compartment and the trunk, so on and so forth. We'll get the outside as we walk around, but uh, again, the same level. We're going to get down low and kind of share it with you as we go around here. Not talk a lot, just let the car speak for itself. We're not going to put it up on the lift, it's just too much risk for me to move it. It is fully documented, we'll have a lot at spudsgarage.com. Piece of jewelry. As we go around, we'll try and catch the gaps and seams where we can. Mm -hmm. Better than new. We will have complete uh, restoration photos at Spud's Garage. Stunning. We do a lot of very nice cars, a lot of nice hot rods, a lot of nice original cars. Cars like this uh, are cars you uh, keep in your record books. Or in your memory is what I meant to say.
you're getting near the end of the video, we might have a few bonus clips for you. We're not sure at this point. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com. We're never any pressure. Have a great day. All right, we're pulling it out of the shop here. I wanted to do my best to document this. I remember I'm doing this one-handed, so. Keys in the on position. See the light came on. Choke is gonna be right here. See how the choke light came on? Pull it outside, we're gonna do the photo shoot out, a beautiful spot. Hope you enjoyed watching our video. Its drive is gonna be extremely limited for me. Warming it up a little bit. You'll see this choke light when you push this choke in. Light goes out. Everything's working like it's supposed to. Very low on fuel. Garage.com. Have a great day.